guess what I was saying about, sadly, the self-selection uh, process hasn't favored science and engineering is based on the fact, or I should say the reason I started first is I believe kids self-select based on the data they have. And when all the role models, when they're young, particularly for women and minorities, come from the world of sports and entertainment in Hollywood, they self-select to that. And as they get older, the smart kids see that, well, it's the bankers, the lawyers, and the politicians that have all the money and the power, they self-select to that. And when the TV shows uh, you know, in grand eyes, if it's not sports and entertainment, it's L.A. law. There's no L.A. lab, and they show these wonderful people practicing justice. Well, that's not what most lawyers are about. And then they see the other shows that, again, make all sorts of other uh, potential career options seem exciting. And it's rare, it has been rare in our culture, that little kids, particularly women and minorities, are told at an early age, science and engineering and inventing, is just as much fun and just as accessible as bouncing a ball and way more likely to lead to great careers. It's very rare as they get older, again, whether it's through television shows or other things in our culture, that they see scientists and engineers and inventors as anything other than nerdy or squeaky or not very uh, socially uh, uh, exciting. And I think while it's always easy to stereotype and make, make the scientists and the engineers, especially the young girls, the butt of a stupid joke, it has consequences. And we as a society, in fact, have said there are certain words we don't use, we're very politically sensitive about other things, but somehow depicting the nerd as the nerd hasn't yet reached uh, that same level. So I started first with one goal, convince all kids that being smart is really fun. Understanding the world around you is really valuable, important, intellectually as well as its ability to give you career options. And hopefully, by putting the superstars of the world of science and technology in front of kids the way we put LeBron James there, and, and creating that same kind of sports uh, model, and hopefully developing that same kind of passion that they have for sports, we now have three quarters of a million kids that have come through first. And a very, very, very large portion of them, we now have longitudinal data choose to get involved in careers that are really very much uh, uh, science, engineering, innovation uh, centric.